This is a geometrical optics uh, model in Excel. It's a 2D ray tracing program for uh, spherical mirrors. You have here in the in the upper right corner, in the upper left corner, the input parameters, the position of the mirror, x and y. So now x is two. Let's make it three. Let's make it four. You can see the. Let's make it minus two. You see the mirror moves. And uh, let's make the the height y m say two minus two. Let's make everything back. And um, you can change the radius of the mirror, which means the radius of curvature. So now is about minus three. Let's make it minus four plus four. You see. When is uh, positive is convex. When is negative, when the radius of curvature is negative, the mirror becomes concave. You can change the diameter of the mirror. Now it's four. Let's make it three and two. There's also uh, a section to change the light source position. Now it's minus 1.1 the horizontal distance from the mirror. Uh, actually, no, from the origin. So let's make it uh, minus five, uh, minus three, zero. Now you can see the the source is in the is above the origin at x is equal to zero and y is two point four. Let's make y zero. So now the source is right in the origin. Let's make one minus three. You see. The way it's changing. The diameter. Let's let's put the diameter back to four. And um, also another thing we can do is uh, there's a virtual button. You can click on it and make um, the show and hide the virtual reflected rays. Another feature you have here is um, a joystick. You can click on this red point and initiate the Start the joystick macro, and now after you click the red point, the the head of the joystick will stick to your mouse cursor, and you can adjust the position of the light source board both horizontally and vertically. Let's uh, stop it by clicking the joystick chart, and we can run a fully automatic demo. Now you can see the mirror is flexing. From uh, changing from a positive to a negative mirror, which means from convergent to diverging, from converging to diverging, so concave to convex in a cycle. You can also freeze the mirror to a certain position, hit demo style, and now. What moves during the demo is just the position of the light source. We can in increase the speed of the demo. We made it uh, 10 from 1. You see it's extremely fast. We can turn into a flexible mirror again. Extremely fast. Let's reduce it to maybe 2. So at any time, at any moment, you can add the virtual reflected rays. You can see the real focus and the virtual focus here. And uh, you can stop this uh, demo from the same button. Or you can stop it from the joystick. And when you, once you click the joystick, the, the demo will stop. Then you can use the joystick to start the demo again if you want or stop it from here and keep the mirror rigid and you can you can reposition the, the light source this is a model you can download it excelunusual.com as you arrive on the page you land on the on the home page you go here at categories optics there's a a whole series of tutorials 
this is a preliminary model here and the final model that I'm using now here you click on this title 2D demo for spherical mirrors in Excel with virtual reflected rays it takes you to the post, it shows you a thumbnail and a download um, icon also um, it gives you a quick uh, a brief explanation of uh, what the file does and how to how to operate it you can click the download button and allow and this is the model that I downloaded from the site. I already had it open, so let's close this. This is my 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 model. So uh, this is uh, using a custom function, a ray tracing function. You can we can use this later for developing much more complex models with cascaded uh, optical surfaces. Thanks for watching.